Vertical welding, just like flat position or horizontal position, there's two directions to go. There's uphill and there's downhill. Uphill, eh, it's pretty hard to do. I don't recommend starting there. So what we're gonna do for most hobbyists and beginner level, you wanna go downhill. So downhill, of course, there's rules to the game. Anytime you're going into any angle of weld, you wanna split that in half. That's your work angle. So we're gonna be going into a 90 degree to create a fillet weld. So we wanna split that 90 degree, 45 degrees with our nozzle. Now, as you move down, which would be our drag angle in this situation, it's our drop angle. The drop angle for this is going to be 45 degrees as well. 45 degrees is a really good drop angle for going downhill welding. So you want to position your nozzle accordingly. Of course, 3 8 inch stick out and then start your puddle and take it with you. Now, the puddle control arc motion technique that we are going to use, I like to refer to as the falling leaf. Now, the falling leaf, what you are going to be doing is you are assisting the fall of the puddle. You wanna slow it down to make sure that you're getting good penetration into both members, both pieces of material. So start your puddle first, and as you go down, you wanna go back and forth. You can even put a little subtle pause on each member to make sure you get better penetration. So here's the trick. Don't, as you are going down, don't pitch your nozzle to become perpendicular. If this happens and your puddle's a little bit big, what happens is your puddle can drop out. Same thing if you get too high on the puddle. You wanna stay in the lower front quarter of the puddle as you execute your technique as you drop. Remember, you're trying to control the speed of the fall. So let's go check that out.